This is Rue Roni K95 here. Welcome to the 2024 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. So we're going to be taking a look at some movies, TV shows, and some anime I have right here. Because we're long overdue for a new video like this because I know a lot of you want to check this one out as well. So let's dive right into this video. Today on the Physical Media Video Library series. Welcome back. In this brand new video, we're going to be taking a look at some movies, TV shows, and some anime I have right here that I picked from my anime collection. Because, just to give you a word for this as well, we're long overdue for a brand new video that I have never done like this before, which is going to help me to get the thing for this. And not only that, this is going to help me devote it almost exclusively to my VHS collection video, which I will be doing my VHS collection soon, which I'll tell you more about it after I show you what I got. So, without any further ado, which is right here right now in this category in the 90s on there, we're going to start with on the movies I have right here that we're going to be showing you. The first one here I got on VHS is Alien 3. This is the the third Alien movie directed by David Fincher as well because this is the follow-up to Aliens. However, this is actually a Hollywood video copy on VHS because this was so, sold exclusively to Hollywood Video because I got this because this was on sale though because, you know, Hollywood Video is selling off a lot of their older things back in the day which I remember as well. Another movie I have right here on VHS I got right here, and that is Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. This is the, the second Home Alone movie, and this is the, the second greatest movie uh, part of the Home Alone movies on there. The first two are very good. The, the rest, not that much, because the, the, they suck, though. They're nothing compared to Home Alone 1 and 2, which I think Home Alone 1 and 2 are the great the best two films in my opinion though. Another movie I have right here on VHS and this is the one that I have right here. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This movie stars Christy Swanson, Donald Sutherland, Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman himself, and Lu with Rucker Hauer who is the star of Lady Hawk, Hobo with a Shotgun, and Blade Runner in that one as well. And Luke Perry who is the star of Beverly Hills 90210, if you all don't know, in this one as well. This was started as a movie before Buffy the Vampire Slayer started it as a TV series later on in 1997, during the late 90s as well. However, this movie, I just wanted to come across for this because this is actually a Ultimate Video VHS copy I have right here because this was sold, you know... You know, Ultimate Video is a great movie store where they sell, like, these old VHSs like these as well. This was part of the closing sale back in 2005, which I remembered. Another movie I have right here, and, well, this is part of the double feature, but I'm just going to show you for 1992 movies. Godzilla and Mothra, The Battle for Earth. Yeah, this is the second, well, this is actually the follow-up to, which is right after this, because this is part of the double feature, along with Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah which I've already shown you in my previous videos as well. This is only on a flipper disc, and this comes with a DVD guide on here as well. In case if you all wonder. Because it's not that new, though. There's this as well. Yeah, it's, it's just basically how... I just wanted to come across for this as well. But most of this as well... Like the, this screenshot right here, I don't know if this was included in the film though, I'm not sure, because even though this movie was released in Japan on uh, December 12th, 1992 as well, because I just want to come across for this as well, accordingly, there's only 28 chapters on both of these movies, both of this, because 
This is actually a double feature edition on DVD, though. Another movie I have right here, and this is one of the greatest I have from the 90s, Rom Stoker's Dracula. This is the greatest movie, in my opinion, because, however, this one's also available on Blu-ray, though, but I think I got this a while back at Half Price Books, because this movie's a lot very closer to the original novel by Bram Stoker himself, because this is one of my favorite movies from 1992, though. Another Disney movie I have right here on DVD, and this is THX Certified. Aladdin, this is the two-disc special edition DVD release. This is also THX Certified. This is the one you have as well. Because the 1993 VHS of Aladdin from the Walt Disney Classics Black Diamond Edition was never THX Certified. However, there is the Laserdisc edition of Aladdin, which is... I'm not sure if that was THX Certified, because i, I got to track that down. However... This is the one you have. This is the 2004 DVD release, because this is THX certified, by the way. Just to give you a word for this as well. Another movie I have right here on uh, VHS, and that is Adam's Family Values. This is the greatest movie I have right here. This has been a long time since I've watched this movie, though, because this is rated PG-13, and this movie is directed by Barry Sonnenfeld, who worked on this mo movie, who did who also made a cameo in this film ever since he directed the first Adams Family movie. And this is before he directed Men in Black movies as well, because I'm going to give you a trivia for this as well. Another movie I have right here on DVD, and that is The Sandlot. This is the greatest movies of 1993, because I just want to come across for this one as well, because I had to get this DVD because I got this at Borders Bookstore back in the day, which I remembered. Another movie I have right here on VHS, I have right here on DVD, no, on, well, this is the one I got this at a thrift store, Mrs. Doubtfire. This has been a long time since I've watched this movie, although there is the DVD release of this. I think I saw this at a library book sale, which I will pick that DVD up soon at one point, because I need to rewatch this movie at some time as well, because this is the greatest movies of, the 90, of 1993, though. Another movie I have right here on VHS, well, this is part of the Godzilla Hiese series on there, which is in the saga on there. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. This is the version I have on VHS on here, because this is the one I have right here. Because I think I got this at Media Play a while back, which I remembered, like, back in the early 2000s. This, uh, 1999... Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment VHS release, by the way, because it's owned by Sony now, because, you know, Columbia and TriStar is now owned by Sony, by the way, and another movie I have right here, but I have never seen this movie, but I'm going to have to show you for the first time I have right here, Hocus Pocus, this stars Bette Midler, Kathy Najimy, and Sarah Jessica Parker in this movie. I mean, I have never seen this movie before, but I might as well give that a watch sometime. Like, maybe for another time, though. Because this is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen on this DVD, though. I have never seen this movie, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give this a watch sometime as well. For the most part. Another movie I have right here, and I this is part of the Super Bit editions from Colum from Columbia and TriStar Home Entertainment. Cliffhanger, starring Sylvester Stallone. I have right here on... I have to... I still haven't watched this movie, but I will give this a watch at some point also, because I have never seen this movie, though. Just to give you a word for this as well, accordingly. And another movie I have right here that I've shown you before, Jurassic Park. This has been a long time since I've watched this movie. This is a very good movie from... Director Steven Spielberg or something, is it? Yeah, Steven Spielberg directed this movie, though. This is presented in 16x9 anamorphic widescreen, also on this DVD, though. We finished off in the movies. We're into the TV shows on here. The first one here I got on DVD, and, well, I wanted to get this one, because this is only a dollar, and this is a former library copy, by the way. NYPD Blue. This is the fourth complete fourth season on DVD. Pretty soon I will get the rest of NYPD Blue DVDs at one point. However, I have never seen this before. This has all this is a four disc set and this has selected episode commentaries on this DVD though. 
I think I remember seeing NYPD Blue on FX, which I remembered back in the day. It's a very good cop show. This is part of the shows under cop shows and espionage shows as well. There's another one called Hill Street Blues, which I haven't seen Hill Street Blues, but I will get that at some point. Maybe for some time at probably like... I haven't seen it, but I will check out Hill Street Blues like maybe sometime like for another time as well. But for right now, I have this NYPD Blue, in case you wonder as well. And one of my favorite TV shows from the 90s, and I remember watching this on TNT, Kung Fu The Legend Continues. This is one of my favorite TV shows from the 90s, though, because I think I remember watching it as well. Because I remember staying home from school, because I wanted to... Aside from watching Cartoon Network shows, because I, I wanted to watch... Every, some of my favorite reruns of Kung Fu The Legend continues because I just wanted to come by for this. However, Warner Archive Collection did release Seasons 1 and 2. Some of them I heard it was uncropped, but I haven't bought those yet. But, however, these are all complete because this has all the episodes. Let's pray if Warner Archive Collection will release the rest of the last two remaining seasons of Kung Fu The Legend continues. No, I don't have Walker, Texas Ranger, because I really need to check out Walker, Texas Ranger at one point, because I think I'm pretty soon I will pick up Walker, Texas Ranger at one point, because I heard interesting things about Walker, Texas Ranger, because I think I remember watching Walker, Texas Ranger when it was on USA Network, which I remembered back in the early 2000s, and to me... Walker, Texas Ranger is one of the greatest shows starring Chuck Norris, as well as Clarence Gilliard, as well as Noble Win Willingham as well. Pretty soon I will get Walker, Texas Ranger on DVD at one point. I'll probably get them soon, maybe when I go get them on Hamilton Books Online at some point. We're finally into the anime I have right here. The first one here I got on DVD, and that is... Yu Yu Hakusho, this is the greatest anime series on here because I had to get, these are the original volumes before they were put out by, uh, I, on Blu-ray as well, like the season sets as well because, however, these are the original volumes on here because I'm still look, looking forward to track down the rest of it so I can binge watch on re-watching Yu Yu Hakusho because, to me, this is one of the greatest anime series based on the manga by Yoshihiro Togashi. Because I love Yu Yu Hakusho, in case you feel wonder as well. Another one I have right here, and this is part of the Ranma One Half movies I have right here. Ranma One Half Nihau My Concubine. I've already done videos like these a while back as well. However, I did pick this up because this is the original Viz video release on DVD. This has the has previews for other titles from Viz Video back in the 90s on here. However, this came with a DVD guide on here. I mean, if you take a look at this as well, because there's some screenshots of the film on here. Yeah, it's this one as well. And there's only 16 chapters on this DVD. I will pick up Ranma One Half Big Trouble in Nekoron China on DVD at one point, which is the first Ranma One Half movie. And I have right here, and that is Dragon Ball Z, The Return of Cooler. This is the first Dragon Ball Z movie I've ever bought on DVD, though, because I got this for like a dollar each, because this was donated to the library when it was during the library book sale. Another anime series I have right here on Blu-ray, and I got, that I also got right here. Oh My Goddess. This is the OVA series on DVD, because I got all two volumes. This is completed, by the way. Because these were put out by Animago back in the 90s, well, back in the day, which I remembered. I don't know if this could ever have a Blu-ray release, because this is long overdue, if this could ever get a proper Blu-ray release. However, this has the commentary track on here, and there's a lot more others on this DVD release on here. However, Volume 1 did have the liner notes on here, in case you wonder. Because this is the original releases from... Animago, which I, I have right here. Another one I got right here, and that is Dragon Ball Z Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. 
I got this at a library book sale because this is a former library copy on DVD though because this has the, the Japanese dub with the original Japanese music but this has the English dub that has the song Tens by Pantera that is included in this movie though in case you all wonder because I have wanted to get this DVD though and finally at last I have right here on DVD and that is Ninja Scroll. This is the greatest anime film from the 90s. I have to re-watch this movie soon at one point. However, this has the feature-length audio uh, director's commentary from y Yoshiaki Kawajiri and Yutaka Minoa. And this has previews for other titles of anime from Sentai Filmworks, by the way. However, this comes in a slipcover like this, which you don't find very often, though. Well... It's also available on Blu-ray, by the way, which I could have up replaced this for a proper Blu-ray upgrade. Or not, I'll just keep it, because I got this a while back at Barnes & Noble, which is in the anime section, for like $16 when I got this DVD, though. So before we finish this off, as you can tell you, I, although I may not have that much VHSs, but pretty soon I will start my VHS collection soon at one point. For the most part as well because I have been even though I have been literally getting into the blu-ray that's why and there's a lot more other surprises I have right here because I've been getting into blu-ray because I'm gonna be picking out only a handful of titles from Arrow Video, Shout Factory, Warner Archive Collection, Screen Factory as well as um, Twilight Time as well as probably Criterion Collection and Kino Lorber as well. This is why I look. I have been start getting into Blu-ray and also older DVDs that are also presented in T Check certified as well. In case you all wonder as well. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Click on the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Especially thank you for watching this channel. Smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the notification bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates if you missed anything new. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below. Come check me out on Analyst Anime Planet as well, because I've been getting into t-shirtslayer.com and probably Letterboxd as well, in case you wonder as well. And that's all I have what I got for today. So, I had to do this new video because we're long overdue for this one as well. Because I think I forgot to do one because I didn't feel like it yesterday though. Which I think I forgot as well. So this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe and stay healthy and have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos. I got a plan for what's in store for more. Take care. Stay tuned for more surprises. Bye.